All right, guys, what's up today? I got some urban woodland from Rothko. One I got was like old gen like from the 1990s, which is, was made in the USA. Then I had the new gen stuff, which was made in China. And it's both in the urban woodland camouflage, which is like kind of based on really popular in the 90s. And I think it was actually copied by the U.S. military instead of the other way around their copy, their commercial copy of the U.S. military. But they made like an urban camouflage for urban operations. I think it was actually like a USMC like snow camo or some shit. The um the urban camouflage specific one that I had. So you have like T block and Operation Urban Warrior. Blah blah blah. Uniform history has a great video on it. So let's check it out. And it's also got one of my first packages ever from Hawaii. And it shit insanely fast. Order shit Friday, and it's now Tuesday. And it's here from fucking Hawaii. So damn you, that's cool. I'm first with a package from Hawaii. Got this for uh, I got this shit for fifteen dollars. So, I mean, like literally, I kid you not, from Hawaii all the way over here, and it's Tuesday, and I ordered it Friday for fifteen dollars, guys. Absolutely insane. These are Roth cut. It's, it's called Roch BDU Cargo Man. It, it's fine. But um, trying to have like, a small stain and shit. It'll be okay. All right, here we go. Here's the package. Let's do a sniff test. See if it's a uh, bad. Nope, smells good. <laughs> And he's apparently belted or whatever. Alrighty, he's pretty nice. Bam, that's what it looks like. Pretty sick. Turn on BD pants. That's what the tag looks like. Blah, blah. And uh, see if it fits me. And I'll try his on after I get the other thing. Got medium regular. And apparently I stayed in the back pocket. Probably guys can see that or something. But I got these actually for, um, I, forget I wanted to get a, a stalker load out. For uh, like monolith faction, they use kind of like an urban woodland kind of thing. So this is just my stalker loadout, sort of the monolith. It's, it's a shitty loadout, but you know the pants are here, so fuck yeah. All right, here we go. We have the old Chen Rothko BDU top, and um, check it out. And also this is BDU cut, so you know the, the four pockets, cargo pockets, back pockets, the knee reinforcements. It's a BDU guys. Come on, it's not that crazy. This package is insanely tape, um, so I'm trying to cut it open. Hey guys, here I got this for um, I think like twenty twenty six dollars or like nineteen dollars, and this is just an old. This guy came out as apparently an inventory closet, and uh, well, this has a lot more white in it than the, the new gen. Maybe it's just a optical effect. This is an extra large regular, but it's apparently in large regular, so I don't know if the size is different or whatever. But um, yeah, random playing. Um, let's see here. Yep, I got the thirty three dollars four cents guy from Ludwig, and uh, not Ludwig. I don't know guy's name but here we go very nice and i'll put this on i'll put the other stuff on and uh we'll i'll try it on overall frick yeah guys got the monolith set up yeah this is, this is definitely extra large old gen rothko the best rothko made in the usa hell yeah brother Alrighty, guys so here's the bdu here's the old gen and then here's the new gen just comparison for you i kind of think the the new the old gen has more light in it and the pockets, ooh, what the hell, there's something in the pockets. What in the goddamn? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, guys? I don't, I, I literally was not scripted, guys. I kid you not. I reached in the pocket of the Rothko BDU pants, and I pulled out a fucking COVID-19 mask and dollar bills. Two dollar bills, three dollar bills. Okay, if that wasn't on purpose... Maybe it's like a, a tradition in Hawaii to just put money in eBay orders or some shit, but I literally just pulled out $3 bills out of my Rothko BD pants that I was just checking the pockets in. Well, that's new. All right, guys, this is a couple weeks after I first got the Rothko, the new gen ones um, from Hawaii. Just a couple weeks after I got these pants and I was wearing them. For, I was going to put them on. I was going to put them on today for my outfit. And I was reaching the left pocket. I felt something hard. And I was like, please don't be a credit card. Because, you know, I found money here and a mask. And dude, just, I, I've never found so much stuff in pants before. And I come out, and in, in the left cargo pocket, I have a school ID. And I, I'm like, what? I, that is just insane. And this guy is um, just a couple months older than me. I guess some guy, <laughs> some Hawaiian had the same trip that I did, dude. That's, that's awesome. But I'm kind of weird. Check all the other pocket stuff. Let me see. There's anything in here? Ooh, maybe something. Ooh, nope. Um, uh, nope. Black pockets. Bit of more money in here. <laughs> all right, here's the the old gen top, and then for the monolith impression, I guess quotation marks. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice, uh, pretty cool. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some kit on. So kit in three, two, one. All right, guys. Here it looks like some kit was quickly thrown on. You know, thirty-five dollar smirch. And for that, the monolith, the, the cool, like, Russian look, I guess, from, like, you know, stalker and shit. But, um, 
The money was really interesting. That's all I got to say for Rafael Urbidu. Urbidu fans, but I mean, it's a nice twill. It's pretty light. It's not exactly too heavy. Definitely not the heaviest twill I've ever felt in my entire life. Very nice. Going to be in the USA. For the Nyko twill, I do believe. And uh, it's white on the inside, but it's not really that bad with this camouflage. You know, you do your HQ or yeah, H E C U, like from like Half Life loadouts and shit. But BG Pants has the little loose markings and shit. I don't really care. I can set shit up, but um, I don't know where these pants were used, but um, finding money was very cool. So. All right, it's like three days or some shit after I found that school ID, and I looked in the back pocket, and I realized there's actually a Rothko tag that you guys can see there for like authenticity or some shit. I think it's at like the bottom or the top of the left pocket. I'm gonna see if it's in the other one. All right, so I don't think that Rothko tag is in the right pocket. So in the left pocket, there's a Rothko tag. Interesting. Also, as another side note, in the tag here it says Rothko Military Division. And I don't know if that's like um, rare. It also has RN37572. And I'm just like, oh man, did I buy another rare thing? Was this actually used by the United States military? Like Operation Urban Warrior or something? Let's hope not, guys, because I, I, I actually want to use this, you know what I mean? It was pretty cool, but Rothko Military Division. I tried to search up Rothko Military Division, and you know, Rothko says they like supply. It's like really vague, and like what they actually did, like vintage. There's not a lot of like vintage Rothko history that I could find out there, but um. Rothko Military Division, so maybe that means something to somebody, someone out there. So, if that means anything to anyone out there, put in the comments. Heck yeah, and also I sewed in another button here to get it tighter on my wrists. And it was from a Navy PX uh, sewing kit. Alright guys, what's up? Hopefully I can get in frame. This is the final monolith uh, stalker kit set up with the Urban Woodland BDU. Pretty lit. And I just want to show you guys how it kicks on shit. It's great. And this is a Russian military beret. Um, you'll see this later on my video <laughs> catalog, but um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, yeah, that, that's the urban BDU pants, guys. I think I was watching. Goodbye.